Ladies and gentlemen, are there no jubilee to UDA defections from Rift Valley? Because to my understanding, in 2017, jubilee 70, almost 80 percent of elected leaders from Rift Valley won through the Jubilee Party. But they are also members of parliament, MCAs, and the women rep. And at William Ruto's Facebook page, we have been seeing a lot of defections from central Kenya. But are there no MCAs and MPs that are defecting from Jubilee Party to UDA from Rift Valley? Because intentionally, I think I, turned, I stand to be corrected. When is the last time you saw Wansingishu MCS defecting from Jubilee to UDA and officially that them being paraded at current residence? But if 5, 10, 2, 20 MCS defect from a county in central Kenya, they will all be paraded there, even the Kisi. Even Mombasa, and I think even Mombasa are not being paraded. Even Western are not being paraded. But every defection from central Kenya is paraded. I think Hussein Mohammed, who was appointed as head of communications in William Ruto's presidential team, is not doing him a favor. But wait, let us not blame him. Maybe it is the deputy president himself. Yesterday, the 16th of March, Deputy President William Samoy Ruto shared a post in his Facebook, in his Twitter page, after meeting allegedly 25 MCS from Kirinyaga County. And he posted this photo and said, Let us welcome the 25 MCS from Kirinyaga County to the Hustler Nation, Karibuni, to the politics of lifting the ordinary Kenyans. According to this post, 25 MCAs had defected from Jubilee to join the UDA. This is what he wanted to communicate. But if you do your data mining carefully, you realize that this is not the, fact, the first time these MCAs are being paraded to have joined the Hustler Nation. Last year, on 26th October, when Deputy President was receiving Anwe Guru, Anwe Guru was accompanied by, I don't know whether it is the same 25 MCS. And it said, he posted this, and this was now shared by Nation, at the current residence in Nairobi County, received Kirinyaga Governor His Excellency Anwe Guru into the Hustler Nation to gather the 25 MCS. Also present was the County Speaker Anthony Gatumbi. So, what happened is, NTV later came to find out that out of the 25 MCS that were paraded by Deputy President, only four, only four are MCS, <laughs> only four, the others were just aspirants. And that begs the question, what is this much obsession with defection that makes him go to the extent of faking a defection? <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes politics is very interesting. Now, this begs the question. Could it be that even the 25 that accompanied Anwe Guru in October were also, some of them were also aspirants? And the truth of the matter is, this is what is happening. They lied about these figures. And they were saying, because, okay, how many times are they going to defect? Let's, let's go and give you the figures at uh, Kirinyaga County Assembly. Kirinyaga County has 20 elected MCS and 12 nominated. So in total, those are 32. Then with the speaker, who is an ex-official member. Now, if 25 MCS defected last year in October, who are these other 25 that defected? There is a possibility of a double counting because the number there is no two 25 
they, they are not 50, they are 30, almost between 30 35. Infections genuine. How many of defections are being faked? Because you can go five with the aspirant, and of course, aspirants are part of this delegation. Then, when you go five with some very ten aspirants, then you say 20 have defected. It's now paraded in Twitter and Facebook. So, what exactly is the madness with the issue of just faking defections? But that takes me to my question that I asked, guys. Huh? Why is it that there is selective imaging of defections? Today it is Nyandarwa, 35 hours, Nyandarwa, Osji Muranga, Kiambu, Meru, Tarakanithi, and even Nakuru. And again, the question why is Deputy President targeting only the MCS? What do you think? First, I think they're easy to, it's easy for them, the position they're earning just those MCS. So if you tell them, um, with this part you can seek that election, you can get it. They just find a way. And it's also possible that some of these MCAs, the incumbent MCAs, are being promised some direct tickets or some favors so that they be in the hustler nation. Because no one actually wants to go for nominations. People fear nomination. There is a nomination phobia in this country. And why is he targeting the MCAs? First, let me tell, say here, guys. Huh? William Ruto is not a short-sighted politician. I have said that in this channel. He is not eyeing 2022. 2022, according to him, is gone. But he wants a very strong, he wants strength in the two legislative assemblies, both in the National Assembly and the County Assembly. Because in the event that Raila and Uhuru forms the next government through Azimio, there is a possibility of bringing back the BBI and Part of the strength for BBI to sell through is these two legislative assemblies. And he knows with, if BBI is, is brought back and these fellas pass it, it might seal his, his he, he might, it might lock him out of the national politics or the national leadership, even for the next 10 years, because you never know how things are going to change. So that is why he's targeting that area. But then, in this video, I want us to look at why defections from central Kenya are magnified more than defections from the other parts of the country. That's what I want us to look at, huh? and there are four reasons. Now, before I do that, kindly, if you're watching this video and you've not yet subscribed, take a second and subscribe. And also click the notification bell. Also tell us from, if you are from Kirinyaga, what exactly is happening? Did you, did you see your MCA? You, if you see those photos, how many MCAs are you seeing there? You can also help us do the fact check. Now, number one, Deputy President wants to create the perception of mass exodus from central Kenya from Jubilee to UDA. That, according to him, is one way of making sure that Jubilee, showing Jubilee as a small party there and that many people are moving away from the Jubilee party to UDA. That is just for political capital. Of course, that, according to him, is going to increase the popularity of the party. Secondly, the DP wants to portray or rather to image UDA as the one stop party for the central Kenya. Now, this is strategic to kill the aspirations of the other small parties in central Kenya, not necessarily Jubilee, to kill the aspirations of Chama Chakazi, Safina, TSP, so that these small parties will still worship UDA and will feel like UDA is the party. To follow actually they are snatching these mcs because these mcs are also hot targets for the other small sprouting village parties if i allow me to say that the village parties that are emerging from central kenya so that is where strategically they have to show the defections from central kenya number three uda are making these defections very public and they want to show kenyan states because they want to provoke reaction from the Jubilee party. Because what they will expect is the next day, Jubilee says, the MCS that were with William Ruto, you know, we are going to maybe punish you or maybe something. They want to see how Jubilee is going to react. Now, when Jubilee reacts, for example, when Jubilee meets this MCS, when Jubilee threatens this MCS that, you know what, you're going to lose your positions, especially the elected, the nominated ones, then they will now play the victim card. Say, you know what? We were elected Jubilee, 
And now Jubilee is sending us away, you know, they will always find a way to play the victim card. That is why Jubilee Party have also known. And they are whenever they see these this defections, they don't react. They just look at them. Because again, they're just in for the camera, but nothing is written down. Lastly, deputy presidents have insisted and have sustained a plot to show that President Huru Kenyatta is facing rejection from his backyard. That is why he has to show defections from that area. According to him, these leaders are actually not pro Uhuru and especially they are buying the Hustler Nation. Actually, you realize uh, that when he posts when he posts this uh, these defections, he will always tag the Hustler Nation or, or lifting the life of ordinary Kenyans. So one thing they believe that the MCS are joining the deputy president, not because of maybe any other reasons, but because they buy the Hustler Nation. And because the DP Ruto has always wanted the central Kenya to stick to the central, to stick to the Hustler Nation movement. And that is why this is being, being done deliberately, that Uhuru Kenyatta is being rejected, and so the central Kenya is buying the Hustler Nation. I can assure you, this is an eye-opener. When I see MCS from Central Kenya defecting, I always raise my eyebrows, uh, eyebrows and do my do my fact check because there are many defections that have been faked. This is just an eye opener. But why lie?